W1VLF. Hey everybody, my name is Paul, W1VLF, and welcome back to the lab. Um, I haven't done a loop video in a while, and I know I've done these before. Um, seem to be pretty popular, so I thought I would try to take some uh, common materials and make a make a external loop. Here's the second version. I won't show you that for too long. Here's the first version. Okay, um, this is made out of what? What are the, um, what the hell do you call it? <laughs> um, embroidery loop. Okay, um, I'll take it apart. All it is is. And I'm going to show you close-ups of the turns and the windings and everything so that you can count the windings and, and come up with, um, you know, a version of your own. This is a 16-inch, I believe it's 16 inches. Let's see. 16-inch embroidery loop. Yep, 16-inch embroidery loop. And it is made by, here's another one. Unfortunately, it's not made in the United States. It's made in Taiwan. Um, the Darice, D-A-R-I-C-E, Craft Suppliers. But it doesn't really matter who it's made by. What matters is that you can uh, build one of these things yourself very, very easily. And we're going to do a couple experiments here on the Group W bench. I got my trusty Grundig, Model S350. And um, I'll try to zoom in with the camera here in a minute on that. The other, uh, other thing I want to mention is that uh, this is not the quietest environment in the world down here in, in the uh, basement in the lab. Uh, so there's a uh, big screen TV running upstairs and God knows what else. But the, the amazing amount of increased signal strength, especially if you were out, say you're out doing a band scan in a, in a remote area or something, with, with just an AM radio like that, this would be an incredible way to go. And it costs almost nothing. The other thing is, here's my little, my little test jig there. Um, it's got two 365 capacitors in it and a switch. So we'll be hooking that up to this loop right here. Um, this loop, and, and all I did was screw it down to a piece of block, sort of a proof of concept. And the other loop, the nicer one here, this one's made out of walnut. Um, I made this with veneer walnut. Um, you can buy it an uh, inch and a half wide. I'll show you some close-up pictures of this after, obviously. Um, inch and a half wide, and I think like, um, maybe it's a millimeter thick, and you wind it around the form and glue all the glue it all together, blah, 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 go through all that. Anyway, you'll, you'll see it when I show you some close-up pictures. And I have two windings here with a separator in the middle, if you see this. Here's one winding. Here's the other winding. You'll see that too, close up. But there's this uh, one that jumps over from this side to this side. And the reason for that is so that with both of these, with the two windings, I had enough space to put a piece of wood that I carved uh, into that shape so it would fit right on the bottom and hold it securely. And then there's two brass screws here. I don't like to use steel or anything near a loop if I can help it. This, uh, this uh, 365 picofarad capacitor obviously has steel, aluminum, and, and some brass on it. But let me zoom in on the radio. You're not going to be able to see my face. Probably a good idea. Uh, but I'll be working the controls here between the radio and these three loops. Um, and it doesn't have to be right on top of the radio. The radio doesn't have to be in the middle of it. You, you'll see. Uh, let, me, let me set up for that shot and I'll be right back. Hi, I said I would throw some of these pictures in, so I figured I'd better do it now before I forget. Just a couple close-ups, that's all, of the uh, the loops, the windings. You can stop at any time you want and count them if you want, whatever. Anyway, um, back to the regular program, W1VLF. Okay, we're back. Um, so I have my uh, 
Grundig radio here. It's got a little S meter on it. Unfortunately, you might not be able to see it that well, but uh, we're going to try anyway. Um, again, this is a embroidery loop. You'll get pictures of uh, the coils up close. And my little uh, test jig here. Whoops. I guess I should put it inside where the camera can see it. Um, just a tunable capacitor where I can switch both sections in and um, an output that I can connect to, uh, to anything as an ex for experimenting purposes. Okay, um, the other loop, ooh, almost tipped over. The other loop here is made out of walnut veneer. Um, it's one inch thick, one inch wide, and 40 millimeters thick, and I wound that on a core here um, that you put in the vise and then you have to, of course, glue in between and then snug it all up and everything. And it um, takes, uh, takes a little bit of time to do that, but it comes out, it comes out pretty nice and, and then it's all walnut. So that's, the, uh, that's a piece of 12-inch uh, PVC pipe with a little bearing, uh, kind of a makeshift bearing that I made. Hold it in a vise and then you wind the material on uh, until you get all the, the five or six turns here in the loop wound on top of each other with glue in between them all and then you you put a you wrap um, uh, either a piece of rope or a piece of material around it to snug it in place until it dries that comes out pretty good at least for the first for the first uh, first experiment it did so let's fire up the radio here I'm doing this upside down that's not it there we go so where are we I think we're uh, somewhere near 560 kilohertz. Let's turn it up. PurityPreferred.com and use promo code Purity50 for 50% off any purchase. That's PurityPreferred.com promo code Purity50. Okay, we moved the loop away. No connection. The energy from this loop is coupling into the ferrite loop stick that's inside the radio. Okay. Building wealth, knowing where you stand is half and it works even from, I don't know, it's about six or eight inches. I'll detune it. And track your net worth over time. You can securely link your financial accounts using bank level encryption and even connect to the capacitor in the front here. Oh, by the way, there's two windings here. It's actually all just one big winding, but I made a crossover here in the middle of the loop so that if you look over here, um, there's two separate windings, and I was able to get that piece of uh, walnut in there to hold the loop down to this base. And this is just something I threw away, threw together a couple pieces of walnut I had laying around. Nothing really pretty, but it, it looks a lot better than the, the one that's made out of the So I'm going to get this a little closer. Better hurry, enter at pch.com now. All right, you got to purchase necessary, void or prohibitive. And I could detune it with my hands. And I can also just take it out of the field. So let's put that one on the shelf. And we'll hook this up. This again is the 16-inch uh, uh, embroidery loop. Let me hook up the, uh, the little tuning capacitor here. And this is one of those cases where bigger is better. Um, this loop does capture more signal. See, we're, we're about a foot away, and it's still quite significantly makes a difference. All right, let's move up the band a little bit. Let's try uh, we'll past 610. That's that big strong station. Here, oh, here's a good example of using this loop. Here's a 640 that is quite a ways away from here, but I'm going to try and tune the loop to that frequency. Okay. And the, that direction there is where the interference, my 610, the one I made the notch filter for. As you can see, there's no notch filter here. But if I take this away, the, the radio is just overloaded. 
But if I bring it close, you can see the signal comes up and you can actually hear it, although that 610 is still incredibly strong. So it provides a whole bunch of selectivity and it also provides some directionality. Let's move up. 660 in New York. Here's a 670. Can't tell if there's anything there or not, but we'll tune it and see. Mostly just noise. Here's a 680 from somewhere. And all I'm doing is adjusting this. And move this over. Now, if you're out someplace where it's really quiet, like say out in the backyard or or doing a band scan in a quiet remote location, this thing, these loops will bring signals up incredibly strong, and you don't have to contend with the background noise that I have here. Okay, so let's move up here a little bit more. Seven ten. Seven forty is a uh, is a station down on Long Island. It's a uh, it's about eighty miles away. Let's let's. I don't know if you can hear it, but let's tune that in. Raj Auto has opened a auto body shop for all your collision repairs. We accept all insurances. 770 Harris Avenue, Middle 6, 732. There's 760, where that, I don't know where that is. Notice the noise floor drops right, I mean, the signals drop right off. Right. Alright, so let's move along a little quicker here. 840. Let's see. 910, it's pretty strong around here. Hey, Granny, I'm going to borrow a line. Well, let's do 1030 out of Boston. Okay. I don't hear much right now, but I'm going to adjust the loop. It's important to service your sump pump, and you can do so by calling the sump pump key at one okay, move it away. Put it over here on the on the table, and we'll bring in the the other one, the other loop. Let's see if we can find it on this one. Window Nation wants to make it more comfortable for you and your family. Window Nation has been able to keep its employees working during the pandemic and smooth it away. So, incredible field that's generated all around here that couples into, 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 into the antenna that's inside the radio. Let me detune it. Uh, let's find another one here, real quick. It's pretty strong. Thank you, sir. Let's go up to 1700. That's about 90 miles away as well. 1700. Okay, you can hear it. That's a low power Skyway. That's Skyway coming in there. If I took this outside, it would be just as quiet as, as a normal station, but of course inside here with the lights and the, and the TV running upstairs, it's not too good. So it's very easy to build one of these loops. 140, 150 microhenries or so, something like that. Maybe as many as, uh, as much as 200 microhenries in the loop itself and variable capacitor. This is, if you saw the notch video I did the other day, this is exactly the same thing. This is a notch. I mean, this is a parallel tuned circuit.
The only difference is that the coil is huge and it will accept signals. Let's try, uh, let's try that again. Let's see if there's anything else. Who you are in God's image. Fifteen sixty. Let's tune that and see what happens. An undifferentiated. I think that's a good thing. Yep. For himself in particular, does not urge. Kind of touchy tuning, but watch I'll detune it. And I'll move it out of the way. So, something that you can build up with just a bring back this loop. Okay, it's not tuned, obviously. That's in this direction. Whoop. Can't have that. Is the minority leader? Can't have that either. For a while, mm -hmm. I thought it was my imagination. I'm like, well, 50 is pretty strong here, so. Very washed. Why definitely hear the difference. Every time my button breaks. Anyway, that's the end of that. I'll pull this apart so you can see. Just whatever it is. I'll show you up close so you can figure out. Oh, these dark spots are uh, super glue just to hold the windings in place. No big deal. And then there's a, usually a pin that clamps these. There's usually a pin that clamps these two together. You take that pin out and then you uh, just screw it in place on a board. So quick. This is like a, a one hour maximum project. And then the, the uh, tuning capacitor goes in parallel. So thanks for watching. Oh, we're up to 920 subscribers, I think. Nine uh, yeah, 920 and goal is 1,000. So if you uh, enjoyed this one or, or any of the other videos, please hit the subscribe button and let me know or make a comment. Thank you very much for watching. This is W1VLF at W1VLF from the group W Bench, signing off. I'll be prosecuted our 244-year experiment in the self